They have, we have different kinds of deposit uh, yeah. instruments. And then, you notice this this the center. But I was I was saying earlier, it's a conversation. John here engages all segments. So for example, we want to talk to millennials, our customers. We gather them here. And some most of the time when we talk to millennials, we talk about transactions over the phone. I think talk millennials, right? Uh, like na nga how by phone. <laughs> so millennials we talk about that their dad, their parents, we also talk about that, but we talk about investments. So it depends on who we talk to. The difference is we created this facility to have that environment not conducive to talk like this one and one. If we were in the branch, it's gonna be hard for me to talk to you like this. So that's how we engage customers. Are you question, uh, for below 18 years old, we have an uh, account that we offer, we call it the Jumpstart for the kids. Uh, they can also do the mobile banking, they can also do the, the website, the online. So same as the regular account. So we have that for the kids. Anyone else? So we really, really need your help to educate our customers. That you can, you can, you don't have to go to the branch like what we did now. If you're in your house, I have your QR code. I can just transfer to you. Tell us deposit withdrawal and money. So most of those, I want to deposit. If you want to deposit, you can actually go to our cash machines also. So you don't have to fall in line. There's channels that are available for you. We're also doing more analytics on the branch traffic and uh, uh, we we uh, found, find out that uh, like 50% of the traffic that goes into our branches are non-clients okay um, what do I mean by that uh, they're they're they want to do an over-the-counter payment no but not they're not our client so we're trying to find ways of trying to offload that because it bas basically penalizes us because our clients, when they see the queue, ako alis na lang. No? Kung pupunta ka sa mga branches namin, uh, in some cases, what you see, there are a lot of messengers there, payments, you know. So what we're trying to do is come up with uh, centers that are specific for payments na lang. Because no? we process a lot of government payments. No? And... Uh, and in some cases, uh, you know, the, the bank, the bank are, um, has a dual identity. Because uh, you look at this as a bank, but other people, non clients, I mean, look at us as a center. So what we're trying to do is separate the traffic. That's still a work in process that we're doing. Uh, in opening an account, because there are What, what we hope kasi is that because uh, one main thing no, that differentiates us against uh, other countries um, other countries have a high rate of take up in terms of accounts because their identity is established up front because they have a national identity card no, our problem is that you know uh, we don't have a national identity card in some cases we require two government IDs, other things and so on. No? Uh, we hope that the latest legislation on the national identity card, which also incorporates biometrics, will speed this up. You know? For example, when you open an account in Singapore, you just present your national identity card. And then from that number, centralize it, they can pick up your address and everything. Everything can be done. Where's Tayo kasi? Uh, you can have two government IDs with two different addresses, yeah. depending on what year you got it, no? Kasi yung, yung, ano mo, yung, yung driver's license mo, let's say, kinuha mo sa probinsya, pero ang SSS mo dito. So the bank is trying to figure out which one. So 
So you go to those uh, uh, gyrations just to establish the identity of the person. Uh, to me, you know, the national identity card is important in that aspect because it it establishes the that establishes the personality in front of you, and and it basically cuts out the red tape, you know, because uh, it, it, it under under banking and under rules you have to know you have along with KYC you have to know your customer. Umid, umid kasi is, umid, not everybody is umid. Mm. So you will have, if let's say student opens, wala pa kung umid na naman sa atin, no? May driver's license siya. Mm. Now, we, in some cases, umid is good enough, but the practice usually is two government IDs. The reason for that two government IDs, you know, tell you this, especially sa address. Kasi, ganyan ka, tapos, you want to make sure that the address is consistent. Executives, no. Rather than having, uh, uh, what we'd like to do is to have our executives up front talking about the business, rather than having a celebrity endorser. Uh, it it serves us two ways. Basically, it makes our executives more comfortable with the media in communicating what we're trying to do. No. Secondly, uh, it puts a real face to the person serving the client. No. I mean. I'm not, I'm not criticizing the marketing strategy of others, but in reality, when you go to a bank, hindi naman movie star mo. It's a search segment, right? <laughs> just, you uh, know. And in reality also, um, you know, we, we also don't want people to feel that we serve only certain elites, di ba? Kung celebrity endorser, okay, you know, this bank is my bank, because we're going to We want to make, to, to ensure that we are open to everybody. So in that regard, you know, uh, we chose a different path you know, than others. Of course, each to its own. Activity, you know, and you know, reliability. Meaning to say, we've been here 168 years to several wars delivered consistent service, we were the first, uh, in fact, you know, at one point we were the central bank in the Philippines, we printed the money and so on. So, we'll be around, I guess, no? We'll be around. The, uh, just the fact that we survived through all those years is an achievement enough. But, you know, given that, in the last three years, no? In the last three years, we've done several things. Uh, our BPI Foundation, uh, for example, has basically nurtured, uh, you know, several uh, social entrepreneurs already. In fact, uh, even as we speak right now, we're we're uh, awarding uh, to VOST, you know, science awardees. So we sponsor the VOST science awards yeah. you know, every year. Thirty years now. We, Thirty years now, we have uh, you know, the social entrepreneurship program under CNAD, You know, the, mm -hmm. so we have a number of foundation. Uh, BPI Foundation activities that we want people also to recognize. Beyond the bank, we also have this certain identity. And by the way, one other thing I'm very proud of is all our executives, you know, one point or another, go through what we call the SOIL program. The SOIL program is before you get promoted, you spend three or four weeks in a poor community giving back, okay? Uh, because what we want to do is to develop bankers that not only are financially competent, but bankers, na may puso, no? na may malasakit. No? And, and I think that's important, especially as we expand our base into the bank. We empathize with them, we know what their requirements are. So that's the social side of BPI. On the commercial side of BPI, you've seen, you've seen uh, our achievements, we've been able to grow the business, we've been able to grow the branches, 
you know, in terms of number of accounts, you know, in, uh, for I think one in every four pesos here passes in the Philippines passes through BPI, you know. Uh, so we are very much a large part of the system. We, we're like one of the cornerstones of the financial industry, you know. Um, and then, of course, on the other side, on nation building, you know, on nation building, we we basically have uh, feeder loans to several infrastructure projects of the government. Um, so, in, in 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 that, you know, in that aspect, you know, I, I just really just like to stress beyond being a bank, being beyond being reliable, beyond being here for a number of years, we are also doing something social, and we're also doing something about nation building. Okay. And sir, uh, there are already some uh, branches like this, uh, the third centers like this. What was the experience so far? Are you really achieving that, that uh, which you did you have mentioned? Uh, yes. Mandate? How many yes. more? Um, if you notice, we have we actually have two branches here. One is in the Sixth floor, you know, sixth floor. So those in fifth floor. So those serve different markets. Uh, right now, uh, our preferred center, uh, we're able to have more conversations, which so far in this week have translated to very encouraging results. Not only for us, but for the customers as well. As I remember when we, when we first started this conversation, our goal is not to sell. Our goal is to find out what you need. Our goal is to find out what you need and be able to help you fulfill that need. So you will not see a PPF person say, search mo ka, search mo ka, search mo ka, search mo ka. Kasi kung ganun, ganyan kami lang, sa mabili ka ng PPF. So what we want to do in, what we want to do in the long term is to ask you, sir, what do you need? So we are so far, so far, with, with facilities like this, we're being successful. <coughs> What's the mandate for, from the acknowledgement board? How many more branches will be like this? Like, of your branches will be like this in the next 10 years? Uh, like what Mohan said, the branches will will look like the marketplace service. So it's not going to be a one size fit all anymore. So right now our push is to, for, I, hopefully you help us educate customers that they can use the channel so we can declutter our branch, so we can have more conversations. Sometimes you don't have to build, you just have to tweak and tell the customers they have a choice which platform to use. Like right now, you you won't go to a Palawan to Ano anymore. You just tell your friends, open a VIP account, I'll transfer to you. You don't go to the <coughs> branch anymore. That is one less person going to the branch. But if you need a conversation with one less person going to our counters, now we, I can talk to you. I don't even need to really build a lot because this is expensive. But it's more of educating the customer what is available to you out there today not even in the future, but today. So those are the things, that's why we did a demo, it's available today. So I need, we need your help to tell customers that they have a choice to so make it convenient. How about your uh, existing uh, employees? Are, are you recruiting their skills to be more Yes, yes of course, yes. of course. In fact, when I started the conversation, I, I, I mentioned to you, like we have preferred RFs that take care of this segment. Our managers are, are taught, are required to talk to customers every day, and it is measured. Can't tell you the details, but it is in our yeah, four cards. Yeah. You have to talk to X number of customers every day, got three pesos. So when, when you go digital, no, there are several there are several things that, that we're emphasizing to our teams as you go digital. No. First, uh, you know, uh, if you look at the statistics of the Philippines, um, I think we're one of the one of the populations that has the highest internet usage in, in Asia. I think we rank up there with Thailand. No? Uh, in a survey done recently by Boston Consulting Group, I think it was like 92% of the population has access to internet over the past month. And out of that 92%, 79% of them use smartphones. So it's it's expanding no? usage and software. It's not only because of the build up in infrastructure, but also because smartphones <coughs> are decreasing in price. You can now buy a smartphone for 4,000 pesos, 2,000 pesos, and so on. So affordability uh, enables more usage. So as you do that, 
Pastor Ali was saying, we're trying to push more functions here. Uh, uh, through the smartphone, we're enabling clients to do more self-service. But as you do that, right, uh, then the branches will be offloaded with certain tasks. Now they can look at other things. And that's why our motto is high-tech, high-touch. We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna ensure that through technology, we're enabled to, to give you more self-service functions. But at the same time, when you go to the branches, we talk value, high touch. Uh, I think in this world, especially with connectivity and software, there will be, you know, there will be less, kayo, most of you are millennials, di ba? Millennials, millennials have continuous partial attention, di ba? You know, ganun, you have to catch their attention. But the time that they allot to you, dapat high touch, you deliver right away the message. So that's what we're training our employees to do. And, and as you do that, there's a transformation that needs to happen in the branches. You know? And I tell you that that, that is the hardest part, you know? uh, because technology is easy. But as you do the transformation of the people, it's difficult. You know? Personally, for me, I would equate it to you know, the other week, my wife told me, hey, you know, uh, now that our, you know, our daughter is going to college, we're in 19 minutes, we have more time together. Oh, so then you say, what am I going to do with the time? So that's what the teller now, that's what the teller now is thinking about, Diba. Now I have more time with the clients. What am I going to talk about? Diba? So, so, so that's the high tech, high touch, okay? Yeah? Okay. As a mother, my question is for my children. I used to have, I used to deposit for them with BP 